Welcome Virgo and happy birthday. I hope everybody is doing well. All right, so we have the Six of Rings. This is gonna be your September love reading. We have the Six of Rings. We have the Dawn of Swords coming in. Oops, give me one second. All right, what is going on? We also have the Ace of Wands, okay. I feel here that something feels very one-sided connection. There is something here where someone could be feeling like they're a bit destructive with their words or there may be some like new found wisdom here. But this is more of trying to, I don't know, it just, it feels like there's something that's like very hard to get through to somebody, okay? Um, there may be some like, feeling of defensive or some words here that are being discussed are being exchanged that are very hard to swallow. Uh, we also have the Ace of Wands, which is interesting to see that because there shows that there's having faith. <laughs> um, there's a sense of feeling inspired and passionate. There's attraction, there's chemistry, there's spark. Uh, but then we have it kind of going back and forth a bit with the Spirit of Wands in the reverse. We have, the, we have the Ace of Wands and we have the Spirit of Wands. So when we have the Spirit of Wands, there's something here that's a bit like, it's hard, there's a big block. Um, a big block of feeling of feeling uninspired, but it seems like something kind of sparks up during these times. So let's see, I, I, we, gotta, we gotta see more. Okay, we got we got to get more into it here. We have the six of cups and the hangman. The challenge is the high priestess. There's some silence, maybe some secrets or things that are hidden, needing to reconnect with your intuition, needing to sit down with yourself and meditate because something feels that your intuition is kind of it's being messed with by somebody. I don't know. I don't know if you can figure out if it's your intuition if it's your trauma or if it's like other things but your intuition is coming in the challenge so it's to me that's saying like you're doubting it someone's making you doubt something we're going to get more into this two of wands you have you have a lot of love you may have children there are memories coming in in your energy Oh, the five of swords. All right, you guys, look at, let me just tell you something what I'm feeling. Exactly, you're the empress, okay? You're loving your unconditional love. You have, you know your worth. You don't doubt your intuition. Don't doubt it because you, something may feel like you're needing to, Put that, put your intuition on hold to see something else through, okay? But feeling at a crossroads, feeling stuck is because your intuition is trying to tell you something. It's feeling that there is a feeling at a crossroads. This is an unsure feeling, feeling like you're, you're, you're here with two paths. There's something's triggering, could be triggering you from the past some feelings could be coming up but there's something here with the empress and the nine of pentacles you're already independent from what it's showing me you're very successful within your own way you're very whole within yourself you have gone through a lot of experiences here virgo and there's a lot of good things happening there's a lot of progression progression here the eight of uh the eight of wands energy this is like good news coming to you, knowing what direction to take, okay? But in the near future, we have a bit of a feeling of defeat. Six of Cups, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Two of Cups. There's something here within a connection where it feels like there is a rocky time. There is some separation or feeling like something here is it was like wanting to communicate something to you, okay? There's a lot of feelings involved. Something could be coming out of the blue. 
Could be this person coming towards you, wanting to communicate, wanting to get more clarity. There could be apology coming in or something that needs to be addressed because someone's really unhappy. They're, they're not, someone's not seeing something follow through or a wish being granted here. And I feel they want to communicate something to you here and, and conversate because there is a want. This person's feeling very impatient to come towards you and they want some clarity from it. Ten of coins. When it comes to long term, or maybe you've been with this person for a while, but it, when it comes to long term, it does show there's like a, it, it feels a bit rocky. It's like where you're needing to listen to your intuition about something when it comes to the stability of your home, your family, your finances, whatever that may be. Because remember, this is long term wealth with the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is feeling unsafe, unstable. There's something here. There feels like something happened impulsively or there could be something about family or feeling in debt or, 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 or just needing to make some type of decision. There is a, a sense of like holding back a lot, not having enough information yet to, tr uh, to really rely on your intuition from what I'm getting. Okay, maybe <sighs> this is interesting. It looks like a new beginning happened. It's being made a choice in the past to take this leap of faith or go on this new beginning or fresh start. We have justice here too, which is all about contracts, doing the right thing and making big long-term choices. All right, someone here with the seven of wands and the devil. Looks like there's a lot of clashing when it comes to like in this person's mind, it, they have the devil, they have the seven of wands. They may be feeling that they're being attacked or feeling, feel, really feeling defensive at this time. And it's because they're very sad and disappointed and feel regretful. The devil is really hard for them, uh, is here, but it's them trying to break away or break free from a toxic pattern that can be um, very difficult for them. Now, the Four of Swords is them coming out of healing mode. So I do feel like somebody here is wanting to express something to you about a connection. Okay. But we do have the Eight of Cups coming in with the Hangman. This is what kind of gets to me here is that in the near future or the potential future, there is a, a feeling of walking away and regretting it and now feeling stuck. There is something about things becoming stagnant and it's all due to the five of swords. There's a sense of like something does not feel equal. Something does not feel like it's balanced. Doesn't feel, it feels like there's a sense of, of, of trying to detach emotionally from something but also it's like not feeling like it's, it's something's not uh, sitting right with you here in the near future. Feel defeat. And it feels like it's hard to walk away. So there's a stagnant feeling from you. Trying to look at things in a different perspective. I feel like in the end, no matter what, you're going to be true to yourself. Justice is here because this is about truth and honesty. And literally when it comes to your long-term decisions, like you got to trust yourself. The 10 of wands is saying that there's something that is being released that has been exhausting, has been tough. And now it's taking that new beginning. It's taking that leap of faith, whatever it may be. Justice is here. We do have the Nine of Cups and the Star. So I am seeing like someone may have not been following through on what they're saying or doing things temporarily. Maybe showing you like, I don't like inconsistency in some way with their emotions or going back and forth. And then you're here with the truth, like staying true to yourself. And there's this like new perspective that's coming in, newfound wisdom and new way of, of, of looking at something. But I do feel is that whatever you're doing, you're being true to yourself and things are moving for you because you're the empress. You're already coming in as independent and whole. Okay, you're self-made energy. 
you have the ability to to like make stuff happen for you so it's like this is more of like you'll be okay on your own if you needed to be so this is like more of what do you what is it that you what big choice are you making and to make that choice to make that final decision is by standing in your truth and listening to your intuition about about finances about whatever is here that you're feeling because I, I don't I'm just getting some some things being hidden when it comes to money too but I'm also seeing like when it comes to the ten of coins or something that's hard like to look at long term right now there's a lot of things that I feel this person may want to talk about but in the devil and that they're fighting with the, this uh, maybe pattern or something with the devil because the devil's here so it's trying to stay committed to stay away from this devil whoever this may be and the seven of wands is like I'm getting also like somebody can be um just kind of defending themselves okay like trying to draw the line or they feel that you're doing that but I am seeing a lot of movement I am seeing good news and I am seeing progression I am seeing abundance and I am seeing you coming into your empress energy when it comes to making these decisions for yourself and for everyone around so that's what I'm getting here for um, September for Virgo I feel there's a sense of you releasing anything that does not serve you right now and to take a leap of faith because there's there's something about you being true to yourself when doing it yeah self-love okay hope I haven't given up honestly yet so Somebody doesn't want to give up on you guys. I love you. Someone does love you very much. I'm going to come sweep you off your feet. Gesture. And within a few months, maybe even talking to somebody for a few months or something's been going on for a few months i do have forbidden even though we shouldn't i still want to so there is something here i feel like that's maybe the double the forbidden part but that could be for some of you guys but from what i'm seeing here is you know there is a lot of um, emotions involved and hope of making something work with this person i don't really see this person i see this person opening up and having a lot of emotions for you with that king of cups energy could be dealing with a cancer scorpio pisces you don't have to be but that's what's coming through the reading spirit wants you to check in on yourself okay so when you think about whatever whatever it is that you're pondering take a moment to check in with how you feel about it do you feel lighter or heavier excited or filled with dread Pay attention to your inner guidance, you guys. Come on. It's always so helpful. Okay, so spirit wants you to pay attention to check in with your intuition. Okay, ask yourself these questions. Do you feel lighter or heavier? And to me, it looks like something feels heavier that you are needing to, you know, lighten up the load here and the outcome. But that's the fool to start this new journey, to have this fresh start, to embrace something. Okay. Because it does show there's like, there may be even two beginnings, but there's like a one where it feels like freedom, excitement, adventurous. So I'm going to leave here, this here. I hope this message does help and bring some clarity to you guys. Um, again, check in with your intuition. I feel like that's the big challenge here is you and your intuition right now really need to connect. Being true to yourself is, is amazing, but if... It just feels like spirit just really wants you to pay attention to what's going on in, inside to listen to that, to your inner voice. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. Hope this helped and brought clarity. And if it did in any way, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. God bless.